Here we go again about United Transfer News. Benfica midfielder Joao Neves has become a target for Man United, according to reports. Portuguese outlet journal De Noticias claim the Red Devils are in the hunt for the talented youngster. However, they face competition for the 18-year-old from Juventus. Neves is represented by super agent Jorge Mendes. On the other side, Jose Maria Jimenez has become a primary defensive target for Man United, according to reports. Spanish outlet Nationals say the Red Devils are considering a £35 million move for the Atletico Madrid centre-back. Jimenez has just signed a new deal with the La Liga club. However, that hasn't deterred United, who believe they could land the defender next summer. Meanwhile, Manchester United might only have one game to solve unthinkable Casemiro problem. Casemiro was taken off at half-time by Eric Ten Hag, before Scott McTominay came up with the heroics. Eric Ten Hag did the previously unthinkable for Manchester United at halftime against Brentford. While the Dutchman no doubt berated his players for yet another dismal 45 minutes, he opted to hook Casemiro, one man so important to the upturn last season. Following his brilliant debut season at Old Trafford, though, there is now a major question mark over the Brazilian powerhouse with a massive game around the corner. Bragging rights will be put on the line for the first time this campaign soon after the international break, when United welcomed their treble-winning neighbors to Old Trafford on Sunday, October 29th, 3.30 p.m. Casemiro is by no means a certainty to be jotted on the team sheet for that derby showdown. Within four and a bit manic days at the club's iconic home, the former Real Madrid enforcer was sent off and then hooked off to leave his once-guaranteed place in the lineup in jeopardy. It speaks volumes that his biggest impact this season has been when providing an unlikely, but welcome, source for goals. Casemiro is, remarkably, the top scorer for United so far this season, with four strikes in all competitions, but there remains something glaringly absent from his usually reliable defensive game. I wanted more football, explained Ten Hag after replacing Casemiro with Eriksen at the interval during a dramatic victory over Brentford on Saturday afternoon. It was another midfielder, unfancied Scott McTominay, who then stole the headlines with a stoppage time double that will go down in Premier League folklore. Again and again. Peter Schmeichel has claimed Eric Ten Hag might have been sacked if Brentford had secured a win at Old Trafford. The mood will change at the club for sure because you end this spell before the international break with a win, Schmeichel told Premier League Productions. Had that been another defeat, some rash decisions might have been made. You never know, it's football. I've seen managers lose their job on that kind of run. I think now it's a little bit more calm. With the international break, some injured players might come back and it might be the excuse to move on. Elsewhere. Manchester United reportedly turned down the opportunity to sign Joao Felix, according to reports. A report from AS via Sport Witness claims that the Red Devils were offered the Portugal forward services. However, the story ad United were put off by his performances last season at Chelsea. Instead, Felix moved to Barcelona on loan from Atletico Madrid. Meanwhile, a £20 million snip could be Manchester United's Frankie de Jong. Royal Antwerp midfielder Arthur Vermeeren has been compared to the Dutch playmaker after a starring role in the Champions League against Shakhtar Donetsk. Belgium publication De Morgan pointed out his two assists and play echoed that of de Jong, a United target. De Morgan say the Red Devils could do far wrong than add Vermeeren to their transfer targets. Elsewhere, Wayne Rooney is ready for a quick return to English football after leaving D.C. United, and the England and Manchester United icon is in the frame for the Birmingham City job. Birmingham boss John Eustace is keen on the vacant Rangers' hot seat, and Blue's new U.S. owners are eyeing Rooney as a replacement. Eustace, who turned down Swansea in the summer, has taken Brum to sixth place in the championship. Rooney has a good relationship with Blues CEO Gary Cook, who previously worked at Manchester City. Rooney left DC United, who he played for in his first spell in the U.S., after they missed out on the MLS Cup playoffs. On the other side, Scott McTominay is closing in on a long-standing record set by Ola Gunnar Solskjaer. According to Optijo, each of Scott McTominay's last ten Premier League goals for Manchester United have come at Old Trafford. Only Ole Gunnar Solskjaer has had a longer run of goals come consecutively on home soil in the competition for the Red Devils, 11 between March 1999 April 2000. He certainly made Old Trafford his home, again and again. It is confirmed that Rafael Varane is suffering a minor issue, 
which is why he missed the Brentford game. Eric Ten Hag revealed, he couldn't make the game, he had a minor issue. If it was two or three days longer between matches, he could have made it, but now it was too short. Rest easy. It's not a bad one for Varane. On the other side, Mason Greenwood has scored his first goal for lone club Gaddafi. It comes 625 days after he last scored in the league for Manchester United. In his fifth league appearance for Getafe today, he scored his first goal against Celta Vigo after 33 minutes. The game has shaped up to be an exciting one so far, with the two sides going in drawing two, two at the break. Meanwhile, Wayne Rooney's son might have exposed his dad's next managerial role as he's caught following Birmingham City players on Instagram. This comes as the Manchester United legend decided to leave MLS side DC United on Saturday. Rooney confirmed he was planning to move back to England to continue his coaching career, and his son could be giving an indication that Birmingham might be his dad's next location. The young footballer was spotted following a host of first-team and academy players on social media. Elsewhere, Juventus planned to hand Jadon Sancho an escape route from Old Trafford and could turn it into a permanent pound 60 million deal next summer. The Italians are keen to sign the dumped Manchester United winger on loan in January, before a potential full-time move at the end of the season. They hope United will agree to paying half of Sancho's wages if he goes, knowing the Reds are keen to put him in the shop window. Sancho has been out in the cold since falling out with Eric Ten Hag when he was left out of the squad for the trip to Arsenal at the start of September. Manager Ten Hag insists he was dropped because of poor performances in training, yet the player claimed on social media that he was being made a scapegoat. He has been training away from the first team after refusing to apologize, and his old Trafford career is almost certainly over. Manchester United captain Bruno Fernandes was not surprised that it was an academy graduate who inspired another famous Reds comeback in Fergie time on Saturday afternoon. Trailing one, zero going into added time at the end of the 90 minutes, Scott McTominay came off the bench to score an emphatic brace to see us snatch all three points at the death. It's Fergie time. Bruno told Man UTV after the match, again and again. Manchester United stars have credited the Old Trafford atmosphere for their dramatic victory over Brentford. Scott McTominay scored twice in stoppage time as United completed a late comeback to win 2-1. Following the match, the Scotland International wrote on social media, Thank you, Old Trafford. Defender Harry Maguire also commented, Old Trafford, you made that happen. Great fight and spirit shown by the lads. Diogo Dalot added, Old Trafford, you are unique. On the other side, David De Gea sends cryptic message as Andre Onana makes another Man United howler. David De Gea remains without a club after leaving Manchester United in the summer, whilst his replacement, Andre Onana, has had a difficult start to life at Old Trafford. David De Gea was a world away from the drama at Manchester United as his absence came to the fore again during the dramatic win over Brentford. The former Old Trafford. No one left the club in the summer in controversial circumstances as his deal was allowed to run down. He remains without a club despite his stock being incredibly high at the peak of his career and hinted he has little interest in keeping tabs on his former side.